My name is Eric Kohler. I'm an interior designer based in New York City, and life is an adventure, and I'm part of it. As a child, whenever my parents went out to dinner or went away for a weekend, they would come home to an entirely different apartment. I would tend to move the furniture around from room to room. I ended up at Columbia School of Architecture with a degree in preservation, in historic preservation, actually, and uh, I just love what I do. What really, I think, f helped form me in my formative years was art. My mother was an artist, and through her art, through her eyes, I was able to open my own eyes and expand my horizons. She was forever dragging me through museums, from the Museum of Modern Art to the Metropolitan Museum to the Whitney when I was a child. And it was so ingrained in me that I think the next natural step was creating my own art, which I feel are my interiors. Over the years, my design style has evolved. It's evolved from being perhaps a little bit overly enthusiastic, overly ebullient, to being able to be more reined in, to being able to be a bit more edited and a bit more refined. I think at the beginning I was very much like an eager puppy, and I hope I haven't lost that sense of alacrity, but I think now I'm able to edit that and to help direct it and channel it into a kind of narrower mold. I usually start first when I'm designing a room with the rug, with the floor, and I think of that as my foundation, and I build upwards from there. So I go from the floor to the walls, to the paint color or wallpaper, to the ceiling, which I think of as the fifth wall. I make a conscious decision whether or not to wallpaper the ceiling or to paint it. And then I go to the furniture, and from the furniture to the fabric, because before I know what the fabric is, I want to know what furniture will be wearing that fabric, if you will. So again, it's a three or four step process for me, from floor to walls, to furniture, to fabric. Well, when it comes down to a design partner, it was really Lee Jofa or no one. Lee Jofa is quality. Lee Jofa is incredibly respected in the industry. And Lee Jofa is wide reaching in its viewpoint. It's a very creative company. They hardly say no, and they actually know what they are doing when it comes to fabric. So I think they were the perfect partner. It was just a natural evolution for me to go with Lee Jofa. What's most important to me when I'm creating my collection is actually to come up with fabrics that have great texture. Even if the texture is non-dimensional, if you will, if you don't see it as a dimensional fabric, if you don't feel it as a dimensional fabric, it actually needs to look like a dimensional fabric. So I like things that have texture, that have real sense of grounded quality to them, something that feels real, that looks rich. And thus, I very much right now am loving linen velvets. I think for me, the natural evolution was to go from upholstery to case goods, to wood from McRae. I've been, I've been working with McRae on my current collection of case goods, and it encompasses everything from bedside tables to dining tables to armoires for flat screen televisions to chairs, to dining chairs. And I've had a lot of fun with that because it lets me explore in a three-dimensional way everything that I've been trained to do my whole life. It takes it off that piece of paper takes it out of the box, if you will, and actually allows you to sit on it, allows you to open doors, close doors, play with drawers. It really, to me, is architecture for the home. It's style, it's life, and it's also furniture. I think my upholstery for Lee Jofa is a bit more unique. Again, it thinks outside of the box a little bit. I wouldn't quite say it's edgy, but it's certainly on the cusp. It's taking the traditional and tweaking it just a little bit to the left of center. So although it's still traditional and it's still incredibly elegant, it has a bit of a kick to it. It adds that certain je ne sais pas, which I think is so important when it comes to beautiful furniture. I'm, ver I'm very excited about my rug collection because for me, again, this is where you start. You start with the floor and it now gives me a base and a base of my own design. So no longer do I necessarily just have to go looking for what I call the ineffable. The ineffable is here. I've brought it to my clients, to my customers, to Lee Jofa. Lee Jofa has brought it back to me, brought it home again. Eric Kohler is pretty happy being Eric Kohler. I love life. It's uh, to me like the ultimate chocolate dessert. I'm having fun doing exactly what I'm doing. If I had my dream job, I'd love to design a hotel and then perhaps a private jet. But that's pie in the sky. Right now I'm just having the time of my life and I couldn't be happier.